If you've passed by the Foster Botanical Garden recently, you may have noticed sculptures that look like giant mutant ladybugs. Inside the gardens, you'll find other works of art commissioned for the Honolulu Biennial, including ceramic gourds by a man whose job is to protect native tree snails. I'm a sculptor. I'm from Kaneohe, Hawaii. Uh, and for my day job, I work for the state of Hawaii in the Department of Land and Natural Resources. I attended Kamehameha schools since kindergarten, so we always had an art class at, at every grade. Um, and I was always trying to get to the level of my eldest sister. Um, she was always really great at uh, illustration and painting. But artistically, I didn't start my career until uh, I attended Santa Clara. Uh, and I had signed up for a sculpture class there. The reason being, I'd, I'd read the course description and it said that you needed to be comfortable with power tools and uh, that for, in some weird way, that kind of excited me. And from taking that course, uh, the professors there were really supportive, so they really encouraged me to, to get a double major as an environmental science major and a studio art major. The pieces you see uh, alongside me and behind me, uh, they're ceramic. In the Hawaiian culture, there's a tradition of, of decorating uh, water gourds or gourds that are used in everyday life. The idea behind uh, decorating the gourds uh, as I have in terms of telling a story on the surface of these gourds kind of mimics how Greek uh, culture used the amphoras, the urns, and the wine vases to tell their own mythologies. And because I work with uh, the state and because I'm in conservation, the, the stories that I focus on are the interactions that we have as uh, modern society with Hawaii. So in, in this, in this uh, instance, I wanted to address social media and how like uh, internet blogs, hiking blogs, uh, Instagram, Facebook has produced some kind of reaction that society has to, to get out into nature and, and share. And that sharing has actually caused somewhat of a damage to our environment in terms of higher traffic in, in places that usually would never see people there. Once I've sketched uh, with, with charcoal onto the surface and while it's still green, it hasn't been fired, it's still wet clay, I'll etch into it. So these are all channels. And then um, after that, I'll, I'll bisque fire it and then I'll actually wash a, a stain over it. And the stain is, is both the, the light tan and the dark that you see. In applying for the, the DLNR position, I knew nothing about snails, but I did all the research I could before the, the job uh, interview. The snails uh, were actually here before any human contact. So they had millions of years to uh, evolve and become part of the, the ecosystem. They graze on the fungus and the microfilm that uh, grows on native plants in the forest. So they actually help the trees and they help the plants by cleaning the leaves off so that they're more efficient at photosynthesis. Habitat loss, uh, predation, um, also climate change are, are factors that are contributing to their uh, population decline. They can still be found on the summits of the Waianais and the Ko'olaus here on Oahu. Uh, on the neighbor islands, uh, similar cases where they're up in high elevations, uh, tucked away in, in hidden valleys. The native snails have always been dealing with rats. Another predator that we've recently discovered is the Jackson's chameleon. In my opinion, the worst is uh, the rosy wolf snail. It's, uh, it's a cannibal snail that's from Florida. And this snail was actually introduced by us, by humans, to deal with any of the invasive pest snails that were bothering the uh, agricultural industry. A lot of art that's uh, bought and sold here in Hawaii, uh, at least in my uh, experience, has been connected to uh, tourism. A lot of, a lot of uh, landscapes, a lot of non-confrontational, very aesthetic pieces. Uh, but the biennial has created a platform for artists to, you know, uh, express their own opinions about living in Hawaii, their experiences here in Hawaii.